what's up my beautiful nieces divine feminine divine masculine my handsome nephews all the kings and queens brothers and sisters welcome back to the karmic circus we're over here we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. There is nothing wrong with your television set, Divine Feminine. There is nothing wrong with your cell phone. There is nothing wrong with your laptop. The sounds that you hear are the sounds of singing bowls. As I look at this, you know, content with the singing bowls and the healing sounds it removes all negative energy so I've seen these things and it's actually <clears throat> I think I'm going to invest in buying me a set of them yeah they're very healing and um, from from the looks of it and from the little small one that I have it um you have to have a steady hand to you know be steady with something be calm and relaxed and when you're doing it with two I'm looking at it if you have some singing bowls with like six or seven is that one for each of the seven chakras that's what I'm gonna do after I get off this video I must I'm gonna see how much they are I want some now I can see myself sitting on my floor in my bedroom with the singing bowls because I used to play the drums okay <laughs> So, you know, for my family, when we sung, I was the drummer until I had my son. I was pregnant playing the drums with him. And now he's a he's a, a, a master drummer. He's a, he calls himself, he's a percussionist, I guess. that's He knows how to play the drums. And that's because I played the drums and his father is a drummer. So together, you know, he, he got it. But I can see myself, this this singing bowl is the same thing, but instead of drumming, he's basically, you know, um, smoothly <laughs> making sounds with this. He has two sticks in his hands, like two drumsticks. Are you any any you divine feminists out there? Are you play do you play the drums? If you play the drums, put a put a drum in the in the uh comment section for me. I'm talking about the females. Now, masculine, I know it's some of you out there that play the drums or you used to play or something. I used to play. I don't play anymore. My family don't sing anymore. We all went our separate ways. But that was my son. He's 30, 34 years old. And I was pregnant with him playing the drums. But anyway, I got this I'm starting to play more healing music instead of the R R and B because the R and B is it's it's sad songs and it'll make you cry, you know. Um I'm still do the videos, y'all, with the crying masculines. I'm still doing, but right now, I want you guys to understand what's going on around you and what's going on with your masculine, whether he's your karmic masculine, your divine masculine. Whether he's your twin flame, your soulmate, karmic partner, karmic soulmate, you know, um, whoever he is to you. And I know 80% um, of my followers are women. So we're going to try to heal. But um, I get little messages and I have questions in my head and then I just do readings. 
okay, but I got a, a, a download of a divine feminine who told uh, a, a divine masculine, either you told him he was going to get karma for what he did to you, um, and we'll get off into that, what he did to you, but you, you, it's like, he's going through some shit. And you told him that he's in spiritual jail. So I started pulling cards. Okay. And this person, you know, they got mad when you told them. You exactly what they're going through is what you told them. That it was spiritual jail. For some of you, you told this person, this is somebody who didn't take care of his kids. He didn't have a relationship with them. He didn't build a relationship with them. He didn't spend on them like a father should with children. And you told him he was going to get karma for this shit. You told him he was going to either lose money. He could have had, you know, his, his job. He was making money. Some of you, you may have even, and I haven't even, I got some cards out here. Um. I'm just scanning through the cards and what my intuition is telling me is things that you told this masculine because he didn't take care of his child. And then some of you, um, you told this masculine, he's going to get karma because he has two daughters and one of them he takes care of and the other one he don't. One of them he has a relationship with, the other one he don't. Now this could have something to do with the each of them's mother. I don't know if he may say one is his and the other one is not. You could have two kids by him and he may be trying to deny the other one and saying that's his, not his daughter. He's not for sure. Y'all could have went through some sort of um, separation. He's, he's acting very immature. And the, the cold thing is, you know, these cards is telling me that when you told this masculine and he's going to get karma for what he's doing, the universe heard you, baby. They heard you. They heard you. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Put it in the comments. The universe heard me. You didn't wish no bad on them or nothing. You just told them that they're going to get their karma. They're going to reap what they sow. And the universe heard you. And see, whoever this person is, they didn't do their research on the universe. <laughs> this is somebody who, who don't believe in, in spiritual things. And, you know, uh, just rituals. And they don't believe in this stuff. They don't believe that it can happen. You could have been telling them things. You could have been telling them that, the reason why they not doing something is behind something with a baby mama doing some spell work or something. You told them this, Divine Feminine. Now, for some of you, this person either, they done lost their job because they wouldn't take care of their child, and that's karma. They took care of one and didn't take care of the other. Oh, she's older, so I do more for her because she more, you know, or I do other for this one because she's younger. You know, that type of energy. Now this person, whoever they are, they having money problems. It's karma. Either they done lost their job and they can't where they whatever industry in, they ain't hiring no more. One, one, now, like I said, it's different for everybody. Some of you feminine energies, you, your masculine, you could have two kids by him and he claims one and don't claim the other one. They could be, one could be 18, the older one, and another one could be 13. They could be far apart in age, you know, like four or five years apart. And you could have, you know, y'all could have been broken up and you got back together and got pregnant. 
and he's he can be saying it's not his. He don't know for sure. And you know that he was the only person that, you know, you were with. So you know it's his child, but he, you know, or he could be, he could he could be getting karma because he didn't take care of a child for all these years and you told him it was his child and he didn't take care of the child. This is like some Jerry Springer shit. Mm-hmm. This masculine, he's having nightmares. He's unable to sleep. Because, you know, the Seven of Swords is out here. He was being deceptive. Deceptive, deceptive behavior, being sneaky. It represents lies, cheating, manipulation. Yeah, so this masculine may be, you know, he's is is he's in a five of cups reverse he's not satisfied with what he's going through secretly he's unhappy he's not happy and divine feminine this is this is like something in the past for you and the universe is right on top of your head it's like they they made this happen for you He's getting his his overall energy and why he lost this job. If your masculine lost this job, I don't care what happened at the job. I'm talking about energetically. This person lost their job because they didn't take care of their child. They didn't they wasn't responsible or they said the child wasn't theirs or something to that effect. He lost his job because he was acting immature. Yeah. So let's see what is this Nine of Cups in reverse. Why is this nine of cups in reverse? Break up. See? Yeah. The five of pentacles. This masculine is 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 it's like he's he's losing his money. And now he he's he's he don't have no emotions. He's just in the energy of just just a, a, a bland energy. No love. You know, for somebody, you and this masculine could have been in an argument, and he could have two kids with you, and probably the older one left, packed her little backpack, and left. Because of the argument between you and her father. Or she could have packed up and left because she could have heard him saying that he's not her father. Something he did to make a child leave home. Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah, he did something. And either this child overheard him, heard y'all arguing or something. This could be a child that's that she knows that he's not her his she could have been calling him daddy or something or dad or looked at him as a, as her father and he could have said some things out of anger and she heard him she could have ran away or something and now he could be trying to contact her 
He's feeling fucked up. Yeah. I don't know who energy is this is, but it's not good. And what I need you for, for you divine feminines to start doing starting tonight, tying your head up with a scarf. Everybody, tie your heads up with a scarf. Okay, as much as you come in contact with these cell phones and all this artificial intelligence going on, tie your head up at night, okay, so you will remain conscious and people can't come, you know, come through you through using energetic forces to make you weak, to take away your strength and all of that coming up, the energies, the forms of your family, your, uh, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors, your enemies, okay, your your person's ex or your ex is the world is is what what people don't understand is the world is 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 just as much is more energy in the world than it is people. So you have to be aware of these energies. Ten of Pentacles represents financial security, material wealth. Um, someone who's a big um, contributor to their family. This is someone who who gives a lot to their family because they got a lot of money. An uh, honest, uh, honest living. Okay, and they give to their family. This could be this masculine energy. He could have a lot of money. And he could have been given to you and this daughter, but he said something out of anger that 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 this child turned her. She could be 18 years old, or for some of you, divine feminine, this could be your energy. This could have happened to you in the past. This could have been your mother and father arguing, and or it could have been your mother and your stepfather. Take it where it resonates. It's different for everybody. But it's a masculine energy was arguing with a feminine energy and a daughter hurt you. And she 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 ran away or she moved out. Um, she could be 18 or older. And she has a little sister, and, and maybe this could be why the one of the girls is in reverse. Maybe she's not talking to this masculine. Somebody is in the uh, in a queen of swords energy, feeling independent. Yeah, this 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 could be somebody's somebody's child. This masculine is getting karma because even though this child, you know, may feel that she's old enough, I don't feel that um, somebody 18 years old should be living on their own. I just I just you know even though they're they still babies to me. Okay, they just getting out of high school. They got to learn about relationships and shit. And when they move out young like that, you know, they end up getting pregnant or, you know, then end up getting on, on government assistance because now their life have to depend on it because they, they moved out too young. Now, some of you may disagree with me, but this is just how I see it. And I have sons, you know, and, you know, it's like, I, I just, you know, it's a lot of things when it comes to safety, when you're moving out by yourself, that they are still wet behind the ears. Visitors, their friends who, and enemies and people that they don't know about, things that they're unaware of. And they'll watch these TikToks and these, you know, little shorts on YouTubes and all of that and think that's the way to live and half of them motherfuckers on there got mental problems or they're seeking attention so they find a quick way to make some money so they do all of these stupid ass things challenges and all of this kids doing challenges out here and some of them are dying behind the challenges because they, they think they grown and they can move out and then the parents be like well they 18 no, you need to sit down with them children and talk to them. 
if they're getting out of line, that's because they, they're watching too much of that bullshit on, on TV and online. You need to start pointing out to them and letting them know. Sitting down and schooling your kids because the shit they teaching them in school is all fake. Okay? The stuff they teaching in church is all fake. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. So tell me, okay, so this person then lost their job because they neglected this child. This is karma for them. Tell me about this person in despair, Holy Spirit. Tell me about this person in despair. Resisting the end, Ten of Swords in Reverse, Recovery. He, whatever, whatever job that, that he had, whatever employment that he had, he didn't want this shit to come to an end. This is karma for him. This is, this is, the, the sword represents um, masculinity and intellect, but it also represents sorrow and misfortune. And that's what this person is experiencing right now. This could be your, your daughter's father, Divine Feminine. Or this could be somebody you was dating and it might be, it may not be his kids and maybe he was given to one and wasn't given to the other or something like that. He's getting karma for that. Now, like I said, it's different for everybody. For some of you, this is an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. With the seven of swords out here, the four of swords out here, the ten of swords out here. For some of you, this is a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. But something is over. Yeah, it, with the ten ten out here, he's experiencing some endings. Mm -hmm. February 9th may be significant to somebody. January 8th may be significant. March 2nd may be significant. July 18th may be significant to some of you. June 4th may be significant. May 6th may be significant. September 5th may be significant. September 7th may be significant. November 18th may be significant. November 30th may be significant. Those could be somebody's birthday, an anniversary or something. 1832 could be somebody's address. 2918 could be somebody's address. 367 could be somebody's address. We have the star energy fell out in reverse. Somebody is not feeling good about themselves. Somebody is not feeling like they're truly blessed by the universe right now. That's how this masculine is feeling. Like he's losing his blessings. And instead of him entering a peaceful phase in his life, he's going through a, a, a tower. Yep. He's not able to shine. He can't be creative. He's not calm. It's like he can, he's mentally unstable. And he don't understand, you know, um, 
things about himself and the other people that surround him. And he wasn't ready to receive the, the many blessings of the universe. And if he if he was giving and caring, he didn't give to this child or a particular child. And he's getting karma. What is the what is the uh put it in the comments the the uh, the Bible scripture about the children. Put some put some scriptures in the in the comments about the children in the Bible. I can't think of none right now. I can't. I'm, 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 it's like I, I know what they are, but, but for some reason, I, I don't read the Bible. I'm not going to lie. I don't read it like I should have. And then now that I found out that they didn't tamper with it and they took things out, you know, to be able to control us, I don't read it. But there's, there's some scriptures in the Bible about the children when somebody is mean to the children, when they do wrong to the children because the children are innocent. And this person, whoever he is, he had some sort of gift. He had something. He could have had money, or and he was he was stingy. So that money that he has, if he had a good job, he's losing it. If that job was bringing him good money, he's losing it. Because whatever it was, he resisted an end, and that end can mean he could resist it you know, resistant to giving to this child or not wanting to give. And you could have been saying something like, don't make a difference with my children. Don't give to one and don't give to other. If you can't give, don't give to both, neither one of them. You know, this is somebody that's a snake energy divine feminine that you have to walk, watch, watch around this person. But you didn't have to do nothing. This person, they apparently didn't believe in God or something with this research in reverse next to these flowers which represents the most high God to me or, or apology you know they could be apologizing to you too because they getting a spiritual whipping yeah so show me the energy surrounding this person yeah whoever this is they 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 made a routine out of out of doing whatever they did to this child or not giving to this child. Three of swords in reverse. And the devil. Wow. Yep. See, whoever this energy is, I just heard in my spirit, somebody did them like this. Somebody, somebody in in either either their parents may have said they wasn't theirs or um was given more to one child and wasn't given to him, them, him. It was one child that was spoiled and another child that was neglected. Yeah. And your person was the one who was neglected. Some of them, they, they may have been um, sexually abused. And they haven't, they haven't, you know, let out the fact that this hurt them. They haven't cried about it. This is a child who got so, ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't like to say this, but this is a child that when, when whoever, if somebody was doing something to them sexually, this child had got to the point to where when, when, when it was happening to them, they wouldn't cry. They were angry to where they, it, it hurt them so bad to where, you know, like when a child getting a whooping and they trying to be stubborn, like, I'm not going, I don't care how it hurt. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. And this is what this child, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Whoever masculine this is, this is what he went through. And this is why he's treating your child like this. I'm not saying that he he will touch your child. You be careful. Be aware of that, too. If he was molested or this, you be careful, ladies, gentlemen. Some people may have, you know, they suffered from some sort of sex essay okay or a child essay and they haven't healed from it so it's like sometimes these people not all of them I'm not saying everybody who has been essayed will do this but some of them will they'll take that anger out on them on a, on, 
um, they'll victimize somebody else. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. But this person is, you know, they're they're hurt. Something they have some sort of childhood wounds. They were either molested, um, abused, something, and they haven't got over it. Yeah. Tell me more about this masculine energy and all of this. Yeah, things is coming to an end, but death out here. He's losing shit. Things things are coming to an end with, with death out here. Death can represent a new beginning, endings. It can represent a funeral. It can represent... Um, something where something is being done and they, they can't come back from. Then we got the five of cups out here. This is somebody's feeling major regrets. They're sorry and they're disappointed in themselves. And they're disappointed in themselves because they know that they have some issues, some childhood wounds that they um, projected that hurt onto this child. Yeah. And whoever this energy is, like I said, you're not the only person that they did this to Divine Feminine. Anybody that has children they that they've been with, they treat these kids kind of cold. How do they how do they treat the kids? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Working to improve his skills. Whatever, whatever, you know, whatever he do for work or he make his money, he's, that's, that's, that's gone. He's, he's losing that or lo or has lost it because it's showing, this is like somebody, you know, he, he wouldn't like, I feel like he wouldn't give to his community or he didn't, he wasn't helpful to people. This is this is somebody, you know, like the people you see that that these big time rich motherfuckers out here that's walking around in the suits and shit all day. And they be walking around mad, they angry, you know, some of them are attorneys and they mad, some of them are doctors and they mad, they not nice and friendly. That's because they have they that's that's not what they wanted to be. They family made them do it. Their parents made them do it because they did it. So you got to do it. That's what they're what they've been through. Some of these people they don't want to be lawyers and doctors. And they want to be somebody more down to earth. But their parents made them do it. So they they project that energy of hatred because they hate their parents for making them you know do what they wanted them to do. This is why a lot of them start doing illegal shit. They start doing you know, low vibrational shit because they don't want to be there in the first place. This is why a lot of them end up going to jail because they don't want to be there in the first place. And when they get in relationships with people, they treat other people's kids wrong or their own kids because they were treated like that. And this is something that they were, you know, they were born and bred around this. It's something they couldn't help. And they caused a lot of endings in relationships because of this behavior. And now this person is going through it. They done lost that fucking job. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your guidance and your protection. Yeah, this is this is a this is a divine masculine in reverse. This is this is a, a man who car who carries all the characteristics of all four kings. He the man, okay? He the fucking man. But in reverse, ooh, if he's all four kings upright. 
if he's the king of cups, the king of wands, the king of pentacles, and the king of swords, he has all the abilities to be one of the most powerful people. The king of cups is loving, caring, knows how to use his intuition, you know, honors his queen. A king of a king of wands is is a uh, a natural born leader. He's he's uh, very passionate. He likes intimacy. He's uh, courageous. He's self confident. He's he talks to a lot of people. He's not shy. A king of king of pentacles is all about his money. He got money. And he knows how to manage his money. King of Cups is also emotionally balanced. And the King of Swords is someone who has mental clarity, power, intellect. And this this that's the divine masculine has carries all of those qualities, baby. So if your man is any of the all of those qualities that I just said to you, that's your divine masculine. But this is a divine masculine. Either he's he's in a distorted energy or he has been demoted. This is a messenger in reverse who represents the divine masculine, the high priest in reverse. So with him being in reverse, he could carry all of this. See, any man can be a, a divine masculine. Any woman can be a divine feminine. Because it's an energy that you carry. All of the qualities of the divine masculine I just spoke to you. And all the qualities of the divine feminine is all four queens upright. Now, if they're all in reverse, the same thing with the divine masculine and he's in reverse, that means he's carrying all the qualities of the, the, the kings in the negative way. That means the king of cups will be very selfish. He won't give you any emotions. He'll shut himself out. He won't show intimacy towards you. The same with the, the king of wands. They'll, they'll cheat on you. They'll play on you. The king of pentacles will be stingy. And, you know, just only focuses on money in a negative way. And, you know, works, you know, his, his, he makes his money illegally. And the king of swords in reverse is a big motherfucking liar. And that's if your person is in that energy. They could be your divine masculine in a negative, dark energy. And that's what somebody is dealing with. And that's why this masculine has lost his job. Because he's in all of the kings in reverse. He's got all of the negative shit of the kings in his energy right now. Now he can turn around and be this dark energy, this masculine today, and tomorrow he can be in a divine masculine energy because it's energy. Tomorrow he can be sweet, loving, kind, all passionate, bringing you money, you know, um, telling you the truth about things. And then the next day, he could be lying, cheating, withholding his energy, being stingy with his money. Those are all the energies of the, the, the masculine and the feminine, divine and karmic. This is why you can watch a reading one day and your masculine can be saying, I love you one minute, or your feminine could be all in love one minute. And then the next day, they in a karmic energy because it's energy and energy is fluent. And I didn't mean to say all of that, but I'm sorry I had to tell you because I'm learning more and I want to help you. Because when you watch a lot of readers, you will get confused. 
So I try to break it down and explain it to you to make you guys understand my readings a little more better because I've been there and done that. Listen to the other readers and they be speaking truth and some of them be, you know, it's karmic readers out there that's just telling you stuff, you know, um, to get you to come back, just telling you stories. And you got some readers out there, you thinking they, because you see a 100,000 views and all of that on their they channels, they be paying for that. I haven't paid for no promotions or anything on my channel. I was thinking about paying for the promotion, but I'd rather the people who sent to me come across my channel. And that's what's been happening. If you came across my channel, you were meant to. Okay. But yeah, whoever this masculine is, he's he's in a, a, a all the kings reverse energy. He's a nasty, cold, cold-hearted, low-down son of a bitch. And He's doing this because he never got over the broken heart. Like he could, like I said, he could have been sexually abused. Um, for some of you, if he wasn't sexually abused, maybe his parents neglected him or mistreated him. For some of you, his his parents could have not given him money. You know, he may not had money to to for lunch for school. Maybe he had to walk a long way to school or, you know, um, he didn't have what the other kids had. Something. And he projected that energy off. He projects the energy off to other people and to people, children. Yeah. He getting that ass toe up. Your, t your, 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 uh, your spirit team is tearing that ass up. See, and the Page of Wands out here in reverse. The Page of Wands reverse is all about a spiritual path, self-limiting beliefs, new ideas. Upright is it's a, a free spirit, limitless, discovery and inspiration. See, yeah, he's he's angry and he's acting like this because he he could have been he could be someone who wanted to inspire others but if he was you know abused or he was he he wasn't free he was in some sort of entrapment when he was a child he may have had different beliefs from his family you know he couldn't be a free spirit for some of you this masculine he may be bisexual or he may be gay and he couldn't he couldn't say it so he does things to the kids, so you be careful with some of you. Be careful with this masculine around your children. Okay? And I'm going to get out this energy. I'm going to stop it. If it's resonating with you or if it gave you some clarification in your situation, then go on here, subscribe to my channel, share this message with somebody else. Um, you can share with them in another email or you can share it with somebody in a text message. Um, Put it, play it on your other social media. That's the way you're energetically donating to my channel to help my messages get out there more. Okay, and I thank you in advance. And if you're interested in a personal reading, a donation to my channel, or purchasing of candles or spiritual protection mix package, all of that is in the description box below, and so as well as mine. PayPal and my cash app. So when you email me, guys, just remember before you send the money to always make sure I respond back because you guys, you get, I get a little backed up and you'll be then sent the cash app and you won't be then sent me your address and then I can't find you the email because I got a lot of emails. So I need you to make sure you, when you, if you send the cash app, to put your, your address in there for me to be for me to be able to send the package to you. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next next week. Peace out.